what is going on guys welcome back to a brand new video and today we're going to be looking at something slightly different than what we normally do on this channel and it's more of an informational video really um so uh i've heard and been informed when streaming that uh, there's been changes that have been happening to the snipers and i wasn't aware of it because lately you know me as you've seen in the last video i've been messing around with estrella and other weird little you know little weapons and stuff uh, so obviously it's been a while since I've been into my sniping, uh, but we're coming back to it and I've been told that there's been updates happening here and there. So what we're going to do, we're going to start off just by showing you guys, uh, you know, what it actually is that's uh, the loadout we're using on each sniper. And it's kind of the meta build. Uh, so for the Tundra, it is the Rap Suppressor, Combat Recon, Royal and Cross four times. Fast Mag and the Serpent Wrap. Now, the Serpent Wrap actually is better for you um, on a Sniper than the Airborne Elastic Wrap. The actual Elastic Wrap doesn't do anything, unfortunately. Um, True Game Data has tested this. J-God has tested this. Uh, the Serpent Wrap is, in fact, the uh, pretty much the only, the only one that improves it. Um, so this is pretty much the main meta you want to be using, like meta build you want to be using on any of the Cold War Snipers. You want to have the Last Suppressor, Combat Recon, even though the Combat Recon has been affected, which is what this video is about. Um, obviously, you could use the three times if you really wanted to, but it's focusing on what you prefer, whether it's three times or four times. Uh, I personally use Fast Mag. You could also use the, you know, just the extra mag, uh, extra extended mag if you really wanted to. Uh, so again, I'll quickly show you the ZRG again. The last suppressor. You then got the recon. I have the four times. I use the far. I use the five round, not the fast mag, because there's only three bullets in this gun. So I do prefer to use the five round, just so we get them bullets. And then the again the serpent wrap over the elastic airborne. Uh, but we're just going to jump on now over to some uh, clips, and we're going to talk about what's actually going on in the game with regards to changes to the weapons. So guys, as you can see on screen here, uh, we do have uh, one of the uh, recent videos from True Game Data where obviously he explains, you know, the data behind the bullet velocity, you know, the updated stuff. Because believe it or not, the recon barrel, the combat recon barrel has actually uh, been nerfed on some weapons and on the ZRG it's actually been buffed. So uh, now the Pellington only does uh, 967, as prior it did around 100 and 1,150. Uh, the Swiss is only a, a small 900, and the car is still at the same spot as it's always been. Uh, but as we can see in the video right now, um, according to Bullet Drop, now this is what we're going to be focusing on, um, he's put that the the actual car 98 has the least bullet drop, which is actually incorrect um, from the majority point of view. So I'm I'm pretty sure that this testing was done at like 900 meters, but you're never going to be shooting someone 900 meters away on the average shot. Uh, believe it or not, most average shots will be under 500 meters, which he actually states in the video that you know most people will be fighting around the 300 meters range on average you know even up to 500 and even 600 very rare that people will be using that as the everyday thing uh so we actually done some testing as you can see in this video right here uh in the clip that's in the background um i actually used the zrg and i was aiming at someone at 280 meters this is 280 meters and I was aiming at the head and I wasn't, I was just getting hit markers. So I was curious as to how far away. So you can see there, 283 meters, I pinged him. And then I aimed at his head and um, again, I missed that one. And I managed to knock him once I aimed above. Now you'll see on the second person, I aimed directly on their head and I only hit a white armor. So if you see right here, um, any moment he's gonna about to peek out, I aimed directly above it on his head. So he peeks, and I was above his head, and I hit white armor. So it dipped and hit below the neck, which means there is a lot of bullet drop. Considering this has the highest bullet velocity at 1,250, I'm having to aim well above them in order just to be able to actually hit them. Um, you know, and to get that headshot, I'm having to go a whole, you know, a good couple of centimeters above their head just in order to hit. So even there... As you can see, I aim above the guy's head to be able to get the headshot. I don't aim on the head, I aim above the head. Um, and, and that's the thing, right? So the Car 98 has a lot of bullet drop. Uh, believe it or not, I've I've done I've used all the snipers on the game. As I said, this is my main weapons that I use is snipers. 
Um, so I will, obviously, this isn't me trying to talk shit about true data game data. All of his data is correct, but I want to elaborate on some of the things that I believe he, you know, it's not so much misinformed, but maybe he, um, you know, he, he might need to elaborate on it a little bit more because in the, in, in that image, he says that the, um, you know, the car 98 has the best bullet drop as in it has the least amount of bullet drop. But it's actually not true. Um, the Swiss actually has less bullet drop within at least 500 meters. Because, um, I mean, 500 meters is a long range. And even at that range, I still get more bullet drop with a car than I would with a Swiss. Same with the Tundra. Because the Tundra has been nerfed now. Um, it's no longer the reigning champion of bullet velocity. The bullet velocity has gone down to 1,130 Whereas prior it was one thousand like two hundred and something, um, so it's no longer the highest bullet velocity weapon on the game. It's um, it's actually lower than the HDR now, but it has less bullet drop still. Uh, it's still the best sniper for bullet drop, and you'll be able to see in the, in the following clip in a second. Um, so right here, uh, this is actually where I uh, the following game. So this was back to back. So the previous game was I was using the ZRG. This game I wanted to put on the Tundra and see what the difference was. Now, you'll see right here, from me to this tower, um, I ping it right here, 315 meters. I am aiming directly on his head, and it hit sh headshots, headshots him. Now, this is a longer distance than the ZRG and less bullet drop, even though this has less bullet velocity. So... Technically, although the weapon has less bullet velocity, there is still less bullet drop. Now, if I, if that was the car 98, I would have had to, uh, like, a uh, range, I'd say I'd have to probably aim around uh, easily halfway up that window, if not even towards the top of the window, just to be able to hit that shot. Because there's so much more bullet drop with the weapon. And this is one of the things, just because, you, you know, you've got bullet drop doesn't necessarily mean, you know, uh, well, higher or lower bullet, bullet velocity doesn't uh, add up so much for the, you know, the... What I'm trying to say is there's, there's too much bullet drop on a car 98 compared to the others. So, I, I, for me, it just felt weird seeing that he had made it sound like that the car 98 has less bullet drop because it actually doesn't. Um, I mean, as I said, these gunfights, these sniper fights right here... They're only, what, 100... That's, not, that's 200 meters. 200 meters away. And that's, you know, the average firefight in which you'll be sniping at, you know? And within 200 meters, the car will still have bullet drop at that range. Whereas here, there's no... There's actually no bullet drop right here, you know? Um, you aim at the head, it hits them in the head. And I just wanted to elaborate that. I'm going to try and talk to True Game Data... Um, within the next, uh, you know, couple of days, because he's a bit busy at the moment. But I do want to, you know, talk to him and see maybe what what the true factors are in place, because as he says in his video, it does depend on the bullet. It does depend on, you know, what you could, what actual, um, you know, the... I, I don't know the word for it, because I don't know guns. I'm You know, I'm British, you know, I'm not American. I, I don't know about guns in real life, so, so as to say. But in general, um, I can confirm that within up to 500 meters, um, easily 500 meters, the Tundra has the lowest bullet uh, drop. The um, the Pellington even has decent bullet drop, to be fair. Um, again, I would any day say that the, the Pellington has much less bullet drop than the Car 98 within, the, within 500 meters. Um, and even the Swiss has less bullet drop within 500 meters um, than the actual um, Car 98 again. Uh, once again, the SPR with the Norma mags, that obviously has low bullet velocity and so does the... Uh, sorry, not low bullet velocity, uh, low bullet drop. And so does the um, HDR. So at the end of the day, what I'm trying to say is that the... I feel like some of the information is kind of misinformed, but not in a in a bad way. If if that if that makes any sense. So hopefully we'll be able to get a follow up with him, and you know we'll be able to go into what you know what the official um, testing was because I believe that the the testing for this was done at around nine hundred meters. So 
in that aspect, I understand why there's more bullet drop the further the bullet goes uh, with certain snipers. But within 500 meters, which is more than enough, even 600 meters, there is still way, way much more bullet drop on a on a car than there is on all, all the other weapons. So um, for actual sniping in the video, uh, True Game Data says you don't want to be using like the Tundra and the Pellington. If you're wanting to snipe long range, I would tell you to use the Patundra. The that, that is the best sniper to use for long range. It is the lowest bullet drop weapon um, for that long range. And that's the thing. Like, um, it, it's just little information like that where it kind of it needs to be more elaborated on, I believe. So I'll speak to him. Hopefully we can have a chat with him. And uh, I'll update you guys in any future videos about this. Uh, but I really do appreciate anyone who's tuned in. If you'd like to see more content, please remember to smash that sub button. And let's see if we can go for 100 likes on the video. It honestly means the world to me, guys. Hope you all have a beautiful day. And I'll catch you all in the next one.